white German Shepherds. They are so fabulous. This is Ariel and her daughter, Winnie, who is a long coat shepherd. They're here with mom, Linda Macharo, who is a breeder and owner of Noblewood Kennels and white shepherd lover and owner, Robin Davey, who is here to tell us about a very important cause they are both involved in. It is called the White Shepherd Genetics Project. Welcome to all of you here. Absolutely beautiful. All in the family, Robin. All How is your baby family. related? Uh, this is Ariel, Prince's ex-wife. Ex-wife. <laughs> and Winnie, their one-year-old daughter. Oh, congratulations, so, Grandma. Yeah, my grandma. <laughs> grandma. And I guess you too, Linda, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, this right. is really great. Right. White shepherds are so beautiful. I want to start with you, Linda, because what is the difference between a white shepherd and a German shepherd, shepherd that you know one would think of usually? Mm -hmm. Well, right now in this country, it's the same breed. It's just the whites are a different coat color. In Europe, all the, they have separated the breed out. So white shepherds are called white Swiss shepherds. Um, if, you know, as a breeder, there's a little bit of temperament differences that I see because I also breed the traditional colors. So I see the whites a little bit more laid back. They're just a little bit more... Um, Calm. That's the biggest difference that I think. And, and, and we shepherd. talked about Winnie being a long coat or mm -hmm. coated, yeah. uh, so we can see it here. Hopefully, viewers can see it at home. You can tell it is sort yeah. of a, a wave. And there. they have a little feathering around the ears. And that when she gets her full coat, she'll be she'll have a lot more um, flowing coat. Very very nice. Now let's talk about this project. It's called the White Shepherd Genetics Project. Robin, you emailed me, and I thank you for that because you are very involved in this, as is Linda. Tell folks exactly what this is. I am raising funds for the genetics to check out white shepherds' issues, which are also in issues in other dogs, not just white shepherds. I went to my first fundraiser in August of 07 to pick up a white shepherd, and I thought all these people get together and they auction off items to raise money for the genetics. And I thought, oh, I can do that too, from a distance, because I'm in Connecticut and they're all in Michigan. So I did my first fundraiser, which was a calendar, and I raised $500. I wanted to do better this year. I got a hold of a woman that embroiders on shirts, and you can put your kennel name or your dog's name underneath. And I'm selling the shirts, and so far I've raised $2,100. Nice. And I still got a couple more weeks, so I'm hoping to do $3,000.